There we go. We'll get going there. Well, the world looks upon me as I struggle along. And they say I have nothing, but they are so wrong. In my heart I'm rejoicing, how I wish they could see. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. There's a roof up above me, I have a good place to sleep. And there's food on my table and shoes on my feet. You gave me your love, Lord, and a fine family. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. I know I'm not wealthy in these clothes. They're not new. And I don't have much money, but Lord, I have you. And that's all that matters, though the world may not see. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. There's a roof up above me, I have a good place to sleep. And there's food on my table and shoes on my feet. You gave me your love, Lord, and a fine family. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. For your blessings on me. All right, that's a song by the Easter Brothers, and it's called Thank You, Lord, for Your Blessings on Me. I, I hope you're thankful for whatever God has blessed you with. You know, even in the worst of circumstances, there's always something that we can be thankful for. There's always something that we can, you know, we can find to give God praise and glory for, you know. And uh, it's just a... A good thing to do, count our blessings and, and say, you know, Lord, uh, let me just praise you for what you have done. And uh, as you look around, you see that it's it's a lot. It's it's a lot more than you than you would think. Even if you're going through some pretty pretty big struggles these days, you know, uh, just give it to God. Give it to God and praise him and thank him for what he's doing in you and through you and so on. And he'll bless you for it. Well, I've got the two things that are pretty important for me today. One is my Bible. There it is. And you won't find any dust on it, that's for sure. <laughs> and I hope you don't. Need... And the other is, well, not quite as important, but almost my coffee cup. <laughs> anyway. Oh, anyway, greetings to you, whatever part of the world you're in. And again, Don Schenker in the Mines on the Mountains of New Mexico here in the USA. And I just do these little devotionals uh, uh, weekly just to encourage and to uplift and to, and to challenge you, quite frankly. And I, and I hope we do a little bit of each uh, today and each day when we, uh, when we come together. Uh, no grand delusions about anything, but, but God is good and he takes what little we have and and multiplies it many times over if we'll allow him to do so. And, of course, that's what we're hoping. Hey, before I go any further, let me just ask you, those of you in your, uh, YouTube, okay, uh, I would appreciate it if you would hit the like thing underneath my picture here. And also, there you'll either see a button that says subscribe or a bell. You click on whichever one you see on your on your page, and that will really uh, that will really help me. I would appreciate that so much, you know. Um, well, today I'm thinking in the word of, of a couple of things here, but basically I wanted to read some scripture, and uh, the NIV entitles this, The Sheep and the Goats. If you're following with the King James, New King James, or, or uh, another reputable version, you will find that even though some of them may be worded slightly different, it still says the same. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his throne in heavenly glory. All the nations 
will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. And I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes or and clothe you? When, when did we see you sick or in prison and go visit you? When did we do this, Lord? The king will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for the least of these brothers of mine, you did it for me. Just want to challenge you today, if you love the Lord and you are thankful and grateful for who he is in your heart and life, that you share this, that you reach out there and love others for Jesus. That's so important to do. And, uh, you know, the Bible says that it's not of works lest any man should boast. There's no way we can earn or deserve our way into heaven. Uh, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And uh, if we get what we deserve, folks, we're we're in trouble. We, you know, excuse the expression, but we're in deep doo-doo, really, you know, if we got what we deserved. But thank God that we're saved through the love and grace and mercy of God. And as we will repent of our sins and ask God to forgive us and to come in and take control of our hearts and lives, He's more than willing to do so, but we do need to yield, and we do need to be willing, really, to let him work in and through us. And as we do that, we reach out to others in these various ways. We reach out to brothers and sisters in need, wherever they may be, as the Lord brings them into our circle of influence. And why do we do it? We do it out of an attitude of gratitude. I want you to remember that phrase, an attitude of gratitude. We are grateful for who he is in our hearts and lives. And as a result of that, we want to share. Now, you know, we all like to share things that we're interested in. I do. You know, I'm, I have no grand illusions about being great in music, but I like it. And so I like to share, you know. Um, and whatever your hobby is, for some of you, it may be some of you ladies knitting and crocheting or maybe cooking or, or guys, maybe some of your uh, your good carpentry work, or, or whatever it might be, you know, we share what we're interested in. So, how interested are you in sharing the gospel, sharing the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ, who he is in your heart and life? And, and sometimes we do it in such simple ways, you know, just meeting a need, reaching out, and, and God can bless and inspire others as a result of our just being faithful and doing what we know to do, okay? Okay, Father, we just thank you for your love, mercy, and grace again, and that you loved the world. It says, for God so loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And Lord, we thank you for that. I just pray that you would be with each and every one that would, be, would view this today. And just uh, help them in whatever their needs may be, Lord, whether it's spiritual or financial, whether it's emotional or whatever it may be. I just pray that you would just reach out and just give your assurance to the whoever is in need and help each of us to share leveling with others as you bring them into our circles of influence. Praise you, Lord. We bless you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Okay, you guys, you hear me say so often, go with God and he will go with you, and that's true. Uh, don't forget, please, to like and to uh, uh, you know, either subscribe or ring the bell or whatever it says there in the bottom underneath this picture watching this on YouTube. And uh, if you don't see it, you can kind of push down on the picture there a little bit and it, it should show up underneath it, you know. But anyway, God bless you and do something nice for somebody today and you can't outgive when it comes reaching out 
and loving others for Jesus. <laughs> you guys have a great week out there. I intend to do the same. I hope you do. Okay, bye-bye now.